Hey guys, what is up? And welcome back to Seven Days to Die with the Shotgun Shogun. Um, as you can see, it is 3.30 in the morning on day seven. Um, I have done a little bit. We didn't dig the trench last night, but I did do a little bit of upgrading. Uh, my bed's busted. I'm going to need to fix that at some point. Um, so uh, as soon as nighttime hit, uh, I got attacked. So the downside is, is some of my stuff broke. The upside is, so if you look, we didn't really lose too much. Um, fended off the wave pretty easy. Um, it wasn't too terrible. Uh, I came out here, laid down some cover fire um, on the zombies, but it's these these spike walls do massive amounts of damage and usually take out their legs. Uh, and then they just crawl all over these spikes, um, progressively dealing more and more damage to them. Um, so what we're going to do is, as soon as it turns to 4 a.m. and everything's safe outside, uh, I am going to go on a giant farming spree. There will be no... Um, there's not going to be any scavenging. It's just going to be me... Uh, pounding away at trees and rocks. So I am going to save you the boredom of that um, and I am going to come back after we have defended up uh, and we get prepped for the evening. So I am definitely getting ready for um, the wave tonight. Uh, it should come at uh, 2200 um, and let's see if we make it through the evening we'll be back hey guys what is up and welcome back to seven days to die with shotgun shogun uh, we built a little bit we um, did a bunch of farming it is 30 in-game minutes until the blood moon um, it's already getting, it's already dark and red and nasty outside. Um, as you can see though, we have a literal sea of spikes down here. Um, we trapped ourselves in, uh, so this way if any zombies do want to come in here, uh, they got a little bit of stuff that they've got to get through. Um, we put about three layers of uh, spikes pretty much around the entire base, uh, spike walls around the entire base. We've got most of our spikes upgraded to scrap metal spikes, um, and we are potentially ready for this. Um, we've got six in-game hours that we have to survive through. Um, the difficulty is amped up just a hair. Um, we are not on the hardest difficulty, but we're about above average. Um, and we amped up the number of zombies that spawn during the Blood Moon. So, um, we'll see, we'll see how this goes. Um, I think that we're good. I need to make some arrows, that's right. Uh, so I've got 72, but... I feel like we are going to... Okay, so, yeah, during Blood Moon, you can't hide. Hide your kids, hide your wife. They coming. So far... Oh, yeah, these guys are just getting wrecked. Like, they can't even make it through the first layer. I mean, we got six hours that we've got to suffer through, though. Like, these guys are definitely going to break uh, break these apart. I need to assist where I can. But, I mean, so far... if I can repair these from up here. 
some of them, it looks like I can. Oh, please tell me that's not it. Okay. Wrecked. So they've made it past, uh, they've gotten broken through a lot of my first spikes, uh, actually kind of, kind of impressed, uh, by the amount of, uh, damage that they've done so far. Um, that guy got a little too close for comfort. I haven't seen him come from any other direction than straight on, so I'm hoping that I'm not going to just get wrecked from behind by some zombies that uh, are chewing through, like, my back walls. Uh, these big guys are doing some damage here. Honestly, I don't think that we would have been able to make it had we stayed in the fire station. Like, this is just entirely too many zombies. Like, we would have, we would have had a hard time defending everything in there for sure. wish I had some sort of firearm. Ooh, a Molotov. Molotovs would be great for this. Just sit up here and set all of these guys on fire. They have, they have pretty much wiped out, like, the whole front of my defenses. Like, this is, uh, I'm actually a little surprised here how, how far they've gotten. And it's only... It is not even close to, uh, to the time. Like, this could, uh, I mean, this could be bad for us. I mean, the nice thing is, is it seems like I can just, uh, at least repair these ones that are super close. Get some more. this wrench because this one's about to break. Do we got 
any more coming. Uh, I see one out there. Those guys are out there, but they're not, uh, they're not making their way over. Have we, have we weathered the storm? I mean, that definitely wasn't easy by any means. Uh, that was quite a few, quite a few zombies corpses there. It doesn't look like any came from the back. It looked like they all came from the front, which, I mean, is good. It's good for us. Um, yeah. I, th I think that that's it. Uh, I mean, I'm still uh, in a hunted phase. Like, it still says that I'm hunted, but uh, I haven't seen anything coming at me. Because, I mean, they can come at me, bro. What do we got? What do we got? What can we do? Uh, let's take a workbench. Take a couple points in science and quit crafting. All right, cool, cool, cool. You know what? Let's let's get this guy. Let's bring him over. Where are you even going, dude? Coming over here finally? No. This guy doesn't even know what he's doing. Come on. Like, where are you even going? Hop up on these spikes, my dude. There you go. Silly zombies. All right, so, I mean, we've, uh, we have successfully survived day one or uh, day seven, the first day seven, uh, wasn't, uh, wasn't really all that bad, in my opinion. I mean, uh, they have, like, tore through a lot of, uh, the defenses in the begin in the front, but, I mean, we've got another seven days before we even have to worry about that. Well, like, six, seven days, yeah, seven days. So, I mean, we can... F f Dude, we can build that back in no time. I mean, realistically, by seven days, I mean, we should be so much further. But, um, anyways, guys, I'm going to end this off here. Uh, thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, if you did, remember, like, fave, subscribe, drop us a comment down below. And uh, make sure you tune in next time. Peace.